Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So just about the Major League Baseball All-Star break, we have one more weekend to go and we're going to get into those games for July 9th. But before we do, I want to ask you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section right here, which has all these tools to help you make your picks more successfully. So let's take a look at some of these games as teams want to go into the All-Star break on a high note. The first one we want to look at here. It's pretty full straight of games. It's the Atlanta Braves and Tampa Bay Rays. If you look here at Atlanta, they're burning hot down, winners of five out of their last six. While Tampa Bay is averaged down, coming off the three consecutive losses in three and three over the last six. If you look at take a look at the over under, you can see that Atlanta has been involved in games over the line in three of six, and Tampa Bay as well in three of six. On the power ranks indicator, the Braves have been near the top of the league all year. You can see all the way back into, uh, well, back into June for quite a while now. They've been near the top, and they're at the top again at 29. While Tampa Bay has been near the top as well. They're at plus 25. If you look at head-to-head, -head, the two teams have not yet met this year in the regular season. The score predictor has Atlanta by a 6-4 margin with a pretty high level of confidence in the prediction of about 69%. If you take a look at the stability factor, both teams have been extremely consistent. See, with regard to the favorite underdog stats, you see this with a upward trend on both for both teams, 30 for Tampa Bay and 27 for Atlanta. So in the end, though, I think this is going to be a Braves victory, but I'm going to pass on the over-under. Next one we want to look at, Philadelphia, Miami, Toronto and Detroit all Full straight of games, we're going to look at five of them. So the second one we want to look at is Baltimore and Minnesota. Baltimore, after being so hot early on, has struggled lately. You see they're just one and five over the last six. And their own win was a two-to-one win over Minnesota back on uh, July the 2nd. Minnesota, on the other hand, is burning hot. They are four and two over the last six. If you take a look at the over-under, Baltimore over in their last two and over in four out of the last six. Minnesota over in the last two and over in three out of the last six. The score prediction looks like an over if this holds up. Uh, Minnesota 10, Baltimore 5, but the confidence in predictions only about 54%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see Baltimore dipped and they were up as high as 27 back on July the 3rd. Over the last couple of days, they dipped there at 21. While Minnesota has really been up and down, you see Minnesota was up to 22 on July the 2nd, dipped down to plus 9 just a day later, and now back up to plus 18. The stability factor, see here, both teams have been pretty consistent. Um, uh, Baltimore, not as much lately. You see, they were at plus 16 back on May the, uh, when was this, May the 17th, but now they're at plus 13. So over the last month and a half or so, their stability has not been very good. And you can see Minnesota has been moderately stable at plus 10. In the end here, I like the Twins, and I think this is going to be a higher scoring game, so let's take Minnesota and over the line. Cincinnati and Milwaukee, this is going to be a good battle in the NL Central. Cincinnati is burning hot, winners of five out of the last six. Well, Milwaukee's average stats, they are coming off of a loss, and they had won four of their previous five. If you take a look at the over-under, these teams have been involved in games over the line mainly. Uh, nine out of the last 12 have been over. And the score prediction has Cincinnati by an 8-2 score. Confidence in prediction you see is not very high, though, at only 58%. And the power ranks indicator, you can see the upward and downward trend for Cincinnati. They're back on the upward climb at plus 27. And very similar for Milwaukee. They were at plus 15 back on the second, and they have increased, increased excuse me, to plus 24. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that uh, in the four-game series, June 2nd to June 5th, it was Milwaukee winning three and Cincinnati only winning one, and that was in Cincinnati. Take a look at the stability factor again. You can see Minnesota, it's Minnesota, Milwaukee not extremely stable, coming in and only here at plus two. The highest that they've been really all season was back here on April 10th at plus three, so all season they've been 
not very consistent with their favorite underdog stats. And Cincinnati, kind of similar. They were at plus 11 early on in the season, and then they got more and more inconsistent, and now they're at plus 7. So the way I see this is I like the Brewers to continue their dominance over the Reds, and I think this is going to be a higher score game. So let's go Milwaukee and over the line. Seattle and Houston, this could be a great game here in the AL West. Both teams are playing very well. You see both teams are burning hot. Seattle winners of their last four, Houston winners of their last four, and five of the last six. If you look at the over-under, the teams have been involved in games over the line in eight of the last 12. The score prediction sees a very tight contest, five to four, but be aware of this prediction as of now because the confidence in this is only 33% at the moment. If we take a look at the power ranks in the carry, you can see Houston on a generally upward trend, a little bit of downward motion here and there, but generally upward trend now they have stayed consistent at plus 28. While Seattle was at plus 8 back on July the 1st, they moved up to 17. They have been stable there for the last couple of days. If we look at the head to head matchup, you can see there are three games played earlier in the season in Seattle, and Seattle won two of those three contests. If you look at how consistent the two teams have been with regard to their favorite underdog stats, I always like to look at this. Uh, Houston, pretty consistent at plus 11, while um, Seattle at plus 7, moderately stable. You can see that they haven't really gone up at all. In fact, they have come down since, since their high of plus 8 on June the 4th. So over the last month, very, pretty, very inconsistent over the last month. I like the Astros to win this one at home, but I'm going to pass up on the over-under. The last one we want to look at here is going to be, let's scroll down here, New York Mets and San Diego Padres. The Mets come in burning hot winners of their last three, three and three over their last six, and San Diego also uh, rebounding after a one and three stretch to win their last two, and they're also burning hot. Uh, the over-under, you can see seven of the last 12, uh, actually eight, eight of the last 12 games combined between the two teams have been over. The score prediction is kind of like right on that on that cusp between over and under at six to four for San Diego confidence and prediction of about 54 percent. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see here that uh, the Mets are on an upward trend over the last few days. They're at plus 12, and San Diego also on an upward trend, not as steep of an upward trend, but they're also upward. They're now at plus eight. Head to head wise, the two teams met for three games back in April, with the Mets winning two out of three at home. And all those games were low scoring. You can see seven, six, and five runs for all these three games combined. The stability factor, San Diego has been much more uh, consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. In the end, though, I'd like the Padres to win this one. I think this the lower scoring games between these two teams will continue, so I like the Padres and under the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for July 9th in Major League Baseball. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.